Suicide Prevention Month in September has come and gone, but the awareness it created can help save lives year-round. A young Milwaukee artist is using her own experiences with suicide to show that regardless of what life throws at you, there's always hope. Here's Stephanie Rodriguez. When I was little in Veracruz, I used to draw on the walls of my house. After that, I decided I might be an artist when I grow up. Linda Perez Santiago is only 20 years old. I'm hoping to get some of my work here and put them on the wall. But she's gone through a lot of tough times. Isolated in this house with knowing what's outside, I heard the sounds of the trees hiding from the walls. After three suicide attempts, She's ready to take life for everything it is and share her story. I know that it's important for me to talk about it because he's just like, I don't want nobody else to feel like that way. And um, <laughs> it's just so hard to talk about it because it's like the universe decided to keep me here for something. I'm still here, you know? Maybe that's why I'm still here. Maybe I need to talk more. Maybe I need to share this with the world to show others that it's okay to talk about it, that they will get out of it. And if they need to talk to somebody, I'm always here. Art is her outlet. I have one of myself. And she's hoping to get some of her drawings published. Most of the books are for kids, like, coloring books. This is the, other, the last one that I did. While she works every day to get better physically and mentally, everything is possible. She continues <laughs> to pick up a paintbrush and express herself. I try to put my emotions in my work. Santiago plans to return to school once she's back on her feet, and she's not going to let anything stop her from working to break the stigma around suicide while being a living example. It's just about day, not about life. That it does get better. I sign up for the suicide prevention because I want to advocate for others too. Because I know that when I was in the bad place, it was just like, uh, there's no way out of here. And I know that there's still hope. And I want to share that with others, my story, because there is always a light. Like, there is always hope for the future. There is hope. There is hope. 